first time eviews users i'll be showing you how you can load your excel file into eviews for analysis first launching eviews brings you to this uh, interface where you have this dialog box close it click on file click on import import from file it takes you to your directory where your file is located mine is on the desktop so i just have to look for it There it is, Gujarati and Porter data set. I double click on that. It brings my file, my data into this Excel real dialog box, step one of four. Here I can see that my data already sorted into columns. I click next. Again, I check it, everything seems to be in order. I click next. I click next. Now neatly sorted, I click finish. Do I want to link the imported series and alpha objects to external source? No. I click no. Here I can see that my data is now in eViews interface. The range is the quarterly data. The range is from 1971 first quarter to 1991 fourth quarter. So in total, I have 88 observations. Same thing for the sample. I have the variables listed here. C here stands for um, the constant or the intercept of the regression line. This is consumption, investment, per capita income. It's a quarterly data, so this one is the time variable. And the receipt is the residual of the regression line. If I double-click on cons, which is a consumption variable, it shows me the series from 1970, first quarter, to 1991, last quarter. Again, in total, it is observations. Same thing goes to investment. Double-click on that. Series are all listed there. Per capita income, I have it also from first quarter 1970 to 1991, last quarter, 88 observations. These variables do not mean much individually because if I need to run uh, a regression analysis looking at relationship between or among observation, among variables, all I have to do is for me to create next what I call a group data. And how do I create a group data? Press down your control key on your keyboard and click each of these variables. So I've clicked on consumption, investment, by per capita income. You can see the three variables already highlighted. So on any part of the screen, right click, then click on as group. So you can see that all three variables are now grouped together as one. So this one makes a lot of sense for me to undertake any regression analysis. Uh, the next thing I have to do is to save my file. So I come here, name, eViews does not allow any spacing when you want to save, so I'll just simply call it table 21. I click OK. I close here. So here, table 21 appears as a group data. If I double click on that, instead of having individual series, I have three of them grouped together in one uh, work file. So neatly um, grouped together. If I now want to observe the nature the graphical nature of each of these series together as a group. I go to view, click on graph, just look at the behavior of this series together graphically. I select line and symbol. I'm still using the graph data, which is the raw data. I click OK. So this, has, this shows me how the series behave together on the same plot. You can also look at the behavior of each individual series on its own. Go to view. This is for consumption and click on graph. So individually, you can also graph each of the series. Line and symbol. So you can do the same thing for investments and per capita income. So in brief, this is a short tutorial on how you can load your Excel file into eViews for any regression analysis. Thank you for stopping by. See you next time.